Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 Yes, God's faithfulness has led us thus far. As we are unable to meet together in our churches and worship the Lord, we are blessed to listen to God's word in this manner. Sunday school has always been a great and blessed time of singing and learning God's word. Today, it's just what we've got in our general session. We have songs, message, activities and so on. Hope you'll be blessed. Let's set our hearts to receive God's word with a grateful heart. And at the same time, let us also remember the people out there who need our prayers. To begin our session, we will have the opening prayer. Let's pray. Dear Lord, our loving Heavenly Father, we come to you for your blessings and help as we have gathered here together. Lord, we thank and praise thee for keeping every one of us safe during this pandemic. Lord, we pray for your guidance. Put your garden angels around us. Father, as we have gathered to worship you today, grant us your wisdom and Holy Spirit to do your will. Father, we pray for our pastor, teachers, friends, parents and everybody in the world. Keep us safe and help us understand more and more about you. Father, we submit everything into your mighty hands and may your will be done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God is so good. Yes, he is so good to me. We should thank God for his love. Grace and favor on us every day. God is so the biggest flower on earth, the Gigantopithecus. It used to be the biggest ape on planet earth and the whale. It's still the biggest animal on this earth today. But do you know there's somebody who is much greater and bigger and awesome and who lives forever and ever and ever. His name is Jesus. He is our God. He is our great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than the skyscraper. And deeper than the submarine. He is wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before. 
before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and deeper than a submarine. He is wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He holds us in His hands. And He holds us in His hands. The next song is Deep, Deep, Deep. It talks about how deep the love of God is. Please join with us and sing. Let's discover, let's explore your creation and so much more it's exciting can't wait to see what you have in store surrounded by ways of your mystery lord show me what you want me to be let's go deep 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 as the ocean blue deep 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 in my faith with you, deep, deep, deep Deep in my heart I sing, your love is endlessly Deeper than the sea Let's start deep in our faith Let's start deep in our walk Let's start deep in our trust Let's start deep in our talk. Let's start deep in your word. Let's start deep in your ways. Let's start deep in your love. Let's start deep every day. Let's go deep, deep, deep. Deep as the ocean blue. Deep, deep, deep. Deep in my faith with you. Deep, deep. Deep in my heart I see Your love is endlessly Deeper than the sea Let's have tea Dear children, greetings to all of you Before we start our class today Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this time that you have given to us to learn from your word, to understand from your word the love that you show to us and the care that you give to us. We thank you that you are with us always. Help us to understand your love even as we listen to your word. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. In a particular time of the Bible, the people of God were given a person called Jonah 
as a prophet to take God's word to the people. One day, God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh to tell about God and his coming punishment on them. Jonah knew the people of Nineveh were very bad and they were very cruel. Therefore, he did not say anything to God. But later on, Jonah thought whether to go to Nineveh or what to do. Then he comes to buy a ticket to go to Nineveh. But he says there is a place called uh, Tarshish. There is a ship that is uh, ready to go to Tarshish. There is also a ship to go to Nineveh. Fearing the people of Nineveh, Jonah chooses to go to Tarshish. Then he buys the ticket and then he boards the ship that goes to Tarshish. And Jonah gets into the boat and he is very, very happy to travel uh, with, along with other people. After some time, we see that there was a big storm. There was a big storm that came and people in the boat were very, very scared. They thought that their ship will break up. To that extent, uh, the, uh, the breeze and the storm was so heavy. And the people were praying to their God. They were really, really scared that they would be destroyed like this. They prayed to God. And whatever they had uh, in their boat, you know, like the things that they had packed and brought, all those things, they just throw it into the uh, sea. But the storm was growing bigger and bigger. People were very, very scared. But you know what Jonah was doing? He was just sleeping. In the bottom of the ship there, he went and he was nicely sleeping. He did not know what was going there. He did not know about the storm and the people who were so scared of the storm. And then all the people go to Jonah and wake, uh, they wake him up. Arise Jonah. What are you doing here? You are sleeping. Where are you from? Where are you going? Why is it happening like this? You are not at all concerned about what is happening there. And then Jonah wakes up and talks to them and says, Yes, I am fleeing from my God. God wanted me to go to Nineveh. But I refused to go there. I got into this ship. And now we are facing this problem. And meantime, they also thought that they would have, or they would have to cast their lot to see who is uh, the problem for all these things that are happening in them. They put the lot and the name of Jonah came. They come back to Jonah and they say, what are we to do now? Then Jonah says, Throw me into the water now. Throw me into the water. Because I am the cause for all these things that are happening. And then, all of them, Okay, we will throw you in the water, into the sea. But the problem is, God should not punish us for whatever we are doing now. He should really, really not punish us. Seeing this, they throw Jonah into the water. There is a big storm and people have thrown Jonah into the water, into the sea. And you can see the storm that people are so scared. They are in the boat. There is a storm. They are bored. They are really, really scared. Now God has 
ordered a big great fish in the sea to swallow a Jonah who is into the water. You know, the fish goes and swallows Jonah. And then Jonah is there in the belly of the fish for three days. For three days he is there. You know, God has ordered the great fish to swallow. He is there for three days in the belly of the fish. But what happens? In the belly of the fish, Jonah was still alive. And he was kneeling and praying to God. Remembering all God's goodness. God is a creator God. God has done so much of miracles. And God continues to do his miracles. And he was praying God. He was also praying God to forgive him. Then you know, God ordered the big fish to go and vomit Jonah into the dry land. Jonah is now, yes, now what he wants to do is, okay, he decides, decides to go to Nineveh. He goes to Nineveh and he preaches there. God tells you that he is going to bring destruction to in 40 days time. Upon hearing what Jonah said, the people were really, really sad. They were really feeling sad for what wrong things they were doing. And all of them wanted to repent. They started fasting and praying to God. All of them, including the king, they fasted and prayed. And God changed his mind. He did not bring any destruction on the people of Nineveh. Dear children, we should be happy, isn't it, that God did not destroy the people of Nineveh. But Jonah was very, very sad. He thought that God uh, would destroy the people and now he is upset that God has changed his mind. Again, God comes back to Jonah to teach him about the forgiveness. But you see, Jonah is sitting in a far away place and he warned, he was watching upon Nineveh what God is going to do. As the heat of the sun is also so much and God ordered a plant to grow grow over the head of Jonah and you see it gives the shade to Jonah. Next day God appointed a worm to come and eat up the plant. The plant died and it withered and there was no shade. And Jonah was very, very upset. He was angry that the plant is dead and gone. God comes back to Jonah and he tells Jonah, you are having pity on the plant. You did not grow this plant. You did not do anything when the plant was growing. You did not help the plant to grow. It was I who did it. Now why you have to be sorry or sad? The people in Nineveh are my creation. They are my people. If I want to save them, I will save them. Why you should get angry? Dear children, we know Jonah went away from God. He did not obey the commandment that God gave him. He did not follow the instructions God gave him. He went away. God brings him back with a storm from the belly of the fish 
and he gives his word once again to go to Nineveh and give the word of God. Even then, Jonah did not understand. Even at the end, Jonah was waiting for the punishment upon the people of Nineveh. But God teaches him to be forgiving, to be loving, and to look upon God for all the directions and the instructions that we have to have in this life. To be loving, to be forgiving, and to be helping people to come to God. So Jonah stands as a model for us to learn, not a model in that sense what I mean. God teaches through Jonah how we have to be obedient to God, how we have to be listening to God's word, do God's will, go God's way and understand what God wants us to do. That way Jonah becomes a person who teaches us even today. Let us be willing to follow what God instructs us and see how God has changed everything in the lives of people of Nineveh with his word using Jonah, the prophet. May God bless us. Amen. Hi everyone. In today's activity session, we are going to learn about if we invite Christ into our hearts, he makes us into a new person. If we accept him as our savior, he transforms us. When God created us, we were clean, we were holy, we were pure. But as sin creeped into this world, we also started sinning. Like we hurt our friends, we hurt our family members by our actions, by our words, by our deeds. And we even disobeyed our parents, we dishonored them, we didn't respect our elders and so on. But if we ask God, He can cleanse us, He can do anything for us. He's, wait he's waiting and He's willing to forgive us of our sins only if we ask Him and if we invite Him into our hearts. Here in this glass of water, this glass of water represents us, the people, the children of God, the people God has created. And this food coloring here represents sin, all the sins of this world, all the bad things that go on, like hatred, like anger, and so many things. And this jug of water represents Christ. So as we live on this earth, we also tend to sin. We are tempted to uh, lie. We are tempted to steal. We are tempted to hurt people. We are tempted to um, the, uh, uh, copy sometimes. We are tempted to cheat and so many things. But only if we invite God into our lives, we ask him to forgive us. We ask him to cleanse us of all our sins. That's when we can be cleansed. He'll restore us when we ask him to forgive us. And he's di he died on the cross for our sins to, to make us free of all sins so that we can have a happy eternal life. And only if we ask him... And now this cup of water is clean and pure, just as it used to be. This is how we, we will become. We will become crystal clear only if we ask God to forgive us our sins. We can't live a sinful life throughout that's not pleasing in God's sight. So we, the, our only way is to ask God to forgive us our sins and he's waiting to forgive us. I hope you invite him into your hearts today. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you are blessed. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 5, 8. Thank you. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew chapter 5, verse Eight. That are pure in our for they will see the God. Matthew 5 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 
Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Happy are the pure in our they will see God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Thank you. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Matthew chapter 5 verses 8. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 8. Kirtane one nura ipat one do. Nanu kadneti parvatagalagadege nodutene. Nana sahaibu yell in the badwadu. Bumi akashagadanu nirmesida yahon in the lay. Nana sahaibu baduta de. Atanun in a padal no kadalagursidili. Nina no kaiwa no to kursidili. Ego is rila no kaiwa tanu to kursudila nidisudila. Nina no kaiwa ni yohone. Nina balagadela lin and lin and ten in the rota ni yohone. Hagalali surya no illali chandran and no badisodila. Yahonu nina ella kedi nida patta pisuanu nina prana wanu kaiwatanu ninu hogu agalu baru agalu indi nenda sadakalu yahonu nina nu kapadu wanu amen. Lu mo sa wanchane devari ke asaya vage de priti karune nambi ke devari ke priya vage de. Yetcha mele yetcha yaki nabu nadeva. Devari ke priya ragi nabu baluva. Satya dalle priti ali nabu nadeva. Devari ke priya ragi nabu baluva. Sulu mosa panchani. Devari ke asaya bagi de. Priti karune nambi ke. Devari ke priya bagi de. Yetcha mele. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this new month and for keeping us safe throughout this time. We ask you for your blessing in this month. May we feel your nearness, joy and peace in all that lies ahead. Thank you, O God, for bringing our Sunday school together to pray and worship you, Lord. God of life, you promise to be with us every day, also in times like this, during a pandemic, when now all restrictions have been relaxed in many states in India and around the world. As children started going back to school and people back to work and travel, keep them safe under your protection. Lord, as children give us clarity in thought and focus on our studies and activities and peace in our minds. Be with those who need more help like the less privileged, older people and people who are sick. Help us to see what we can offer to make their life better. O oh God, we pray for the frontline workers who have been facing this situation boldly. O oh God, we pray for your, con your continuing provision during this time, especially of personal protective gear to keep them safe and for great government support to deal with COVID in the best way possible. We pray for our Pasrama. We are thankful for her as being a source of blessing and inspiration to all. I pray for our Sunday school teachers, for the leadership and guidance. And I pray for all the church members. Bless them and guide them and keep them safe in this time. I pray for all. I fill each child with confidence and grace to face the world in your name. Let them be a source of blessing to all. Lord, your love and faithfulness, along with your goodness and mercy, is with us every day. So we will not fear what might come against us. Our trust is in you, O God, and I give thanks to you for your love and protection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.